Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to render out a really quick animation to get a better feel of how your animations come along. Because sometimes when you hit the play animation button, although it seems fine here, when you get into larger scenes with like let's say 2 million polygons, things start chugging and this is not going to always be as fast. I don't have anything that big to show off, so I'm just going to show you how to quickly render out this so that way you can get a better idea of how it all feels. Uh, a lot of times people, you know, they go into the render settings and they set it all up in here and try to throw out a quick render. But what you can do instead, let's uh, go ahead and go over to our tools. You're going to come down to preview grab viewport and create preview animation. What this does is it grabs a screen capture of each like frame and it creates a small video of it. So we're going to do our active time frame, which is 150 frames. And uh, we want to show geometry, shapes, all this stuff. So currently, we don't have our light in our scene, but if our light was in the scene and you wanted to show up, you could hit lights and it would show the light in your scene. So basically just screen captures this and shows it into a video. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to leave all this the way it is besides for a render level. Instead of doing realistic. We are, oh my god, this is 2016, this is way different. Uh, what is it currently on? It is, one second. So however it looks, so this is realistic. If we do realistic, this is how it's going to look. Uh, shaded will look like this. Yeah, we are, we are going to do shaded. So let's go back over to our preview thing here and do shaded. So we want to show highlights, textures, background, all that stuff. That's fine. And then we're going to do custom file, just file. And uh, this is fine right here on my desktop. We're just going to do test. This is going to create an AVI, save. We'll put the quality at, oops. 100. I'm just using an MPJEG compressor. Hit OK. And then we have it on camera one. That's the viewport we're in. Create. So it's now going to screen capture all of this, create a short video. As you can see, it's playing through all this right now. One second. It is done. And now it's going to pop up the video. And once it plays. There we go. You now have your short little preview animation, and this is a play blast. So let's say you're in college and you need to show a uh, work in progress. You can do your little play blast like this. It's really nice, and it's super nice when you have a lot of stuff going on, and this just is chugging along, and you just you can't get an accurate reading. So if we go back over to tools, preview, grab viewport, create preview animation, this is it. Now, percentage of output, um, our resolution is 640 by 360. That is our render setup resolution. So it's going to do 50% of that resolution. So it's going to be 320 by 180. Yes. Anyways, that's how you create a play blast. Um, I hope you found this helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your weekend.